Good afternoon across parts of South Florida with rounds of rain making their way through. That's right, and the rain is at least keeping away the heat advisory, so that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Let's bring in our weather authority meteorologist, Peta Shearwood. Peta, break all of this down for us. Are we going to have more rain tonight into tomorrow? I think we are going to continue to see things dry out as we head through the rest of the evening, and it's so interesting how much the rain uh, really did help out our temperatures. We only made it to 89 degrees today in Miami. As we check out the radar right now, we are seeing quieter conditions, a difference in what two hours can do. We are seeing most of those showers and thunderstorms now well to the east of us and you notice here on the radar they are fizzling out as they move towards the north and east pulling away from South Florida. Let's go ahead and check out how much rainfall we saw today and in some spots like in Aventura as well as Hollywood that number around two inches of rain and this is radar estimated. I know it was pouring in this area and now we're starting to see dry conditions. So for the rest of the evening, do plan for quieter conditions to move through. I think as we head into the overnight hours, mainly across the keys, we are going to watch for some showers to develop very similar to this morning. We got those showers and thunderstorms to get started uh, across the keys and some of that could lift towards north as we head into the afternoon on Monday. As we go ahead and check out our temperatures, right? Right now we're at 83 degrees, feeling like 92, still humid as you step outside. And I think for the rest of the evening, we'll get those temperatures to fall off into the lower 80s. As we check in on the tropics, we continue to monitor Ernesto. It is now a hurricane. So yesterday, last night, weakened into a tropical storm. Now we're seeing those wind speeds up to 75 miles per hour, moving to the north northeast at 17 miles per hour. So there's a fast movement with this, and we are seeing that it is going to remain as a category one hurricane as it moves over some warm waters. But then by the time we head into Tuesday, notice it's going to weaken back into a tropical storm as it moves over some cooler sea surface temperatures. The rip current threat will remain elevated along the east coast, but for us across South Florida, that rip current threat lowered for today will begin to see improvements across the coast of Florida as we head into tomorrow as Ernesto continues to pull away from us. Coming up, we're going to take a look at our rain chances and we're going to show you why they're set to increase for the week ahead. All right, Peter, thanks.